I'm standing next to the restored stream in Snake Den Branch. This stream used to be right here, it used to have no vegetation, steep banks, and it was very close to the pathway system, jeopardizing the safety of our members. In the 60s, as development began in Reston, the attempt at stormwater management involved piping or channeling the water to the streams as fast as possible during a rain event. Unfortunately, this early style of stormwater management is the primary cause of the serious degradation of our streams and open space. Over 60,000 residents live in Reston's 11 square miles, all clustered around our streams and lakes. Therefore, this degradation of our stream system directly impacts our residents' own backyards. Before development, the natural stream system could easily handle most rain events. Now, as Reston has grown and developed, its roads, schools, houses, and parking lots all contribute additional water to Reston's streams. With so many impervious surfaces like parking lots and driveways in the watershed, we get a surge of water through the streams every time it rains. As this water flow increases, it erodes the sides and bottom of the stream and carries the sediment to one of our lakes, or in the case of the Glade, downstream to eventually the Potomac River and the Chesapeake Bay. What we're left with is exposed roots, jeopardizing our trees and pathways. Undercut banks, which at times are so high that someone could very well walk under them. As well as blockages that reroute the course of water, causing even more erosion. What we have here is a steep vertical drop-off, which some time ago had started out there, about 20 feet or so where it used to meet up with the main stream channel. Over time, the soil washes away and it will continue to erode until it ends up in residents' own backyards. The sharp meandering of the stream has come dangerously close to our pathways and pose a hazard for our residents. In the past, we have created wall structures as a band-aid to a much greater problem. We also have meanders that are too tight that can't support the trees that are barely hanging on to the banks, and hazards like trees within range to fall on a house if left on a steep bank with active erosion. We cannot afford to close our eyes to the problems of development in Reston that has had direct impacts to our streams. The erosion of our stream system has widened and progressively cut deeper into our stream beds. These deep cut streams have even gone so far to expose sewer lines. If these sewer lines were damaged in the storm event, then they could potentially leak raw sewage into our streams. Deep cut stream beds also endanger our trails and bridges, which will need to be replaced should this continue. Not to mention the massive amount of soil washing downstream into our lakes which has cost residents nearly $1.2 million in dredging costs over the past 10 years. Our solution is to have streams that can handle the amount of water flowing through them without eroding. Essentially, we are mimicking nature using natural channel design to bring back our streams. We are using native materials such as willows, oaks, dogwoods, birches, red buds, maples, elderberries, and many more. For our rock structures, we're using an indigenous diabase rock to mimic a natural stream that functions properly. So what does it mean to have our streams function properly? Currently, we have streams that are confined in a channel. The water goes from two inches to about two feet during a rain event and has a high amount of energy causing erosion of the stream banks. For a stream to function properly, you want that two inches of water to not go above six inches and spread out across a wider area. Trees, shrubs, and vegetation take some of that energy away from the water, and this reduces erosion. In our restored streams, the rock structures help direct the water away from the banks and towards the center of the stream. Our vision for the future includes Reston's natural areas once again thriving as healthy ecosystems with full forests, restored streams, and habitat for all wildlife. Reston is a tree city, and we value our trees tremendously. In these past 45 years, Reston has been a model for planned communities throughout the country. This community has always come together to protect our wonderful way of life, which so heavily depends on our natural areas. This stream restoration will help us protect our open space for the next 45 years.